Good morning. Come on in here. Let me. I have coffee. I have all the machines going this morning. You ever have one of those mornings? So everybody get in here. There's my people. Get on in here. I got a pillowcase over that lampshade so it doesn't make a huge glare. But I don't think it's working. What do you think? There's my son. So come on in. We got stuff to talk about. It's December the 14th, the day after Friday the 13th. How cool is that? Friday the 13th's never been a bad day for me because I bought a car on Friday the 13th in 1977. Yep, Friday the 13th is a good day. Anyway, I've been dreaming all night long. I'll probably talk to the doctor about it because the good Lord gives me ideas while I sleep. Uh, I know Robert had a kidney stone one time and they went in with a little laser and a little grappling hook and it was stuck. It had been stuck for about six months and his ureter had started to grow around it. Why can't we go into Ben's blockage and with a little grappling hook and grab it and blast it and bring it out of there? He would feel a whole lot better, but that's, that's my dream. I don't know if it's possible. Maybe it is. I don't know, but we'll see. I got all the machines going this morning. I got the washer and the dryer. I've loaded the dishwasher with uh, some new water bottles and stuff. And I've made coffee, so the tea kettle's been going. I got hair sticking out right here, and it's driving me nuts. Anyway, so Justin may come a little later today and get the dryer hooked up. Right now, I got the door open and I'm putting some moisture in the air because every once in a while, you can tell when your sinuses start to get dry. And being in the hospital, you got air blowing all the time. So I am using my nose spray and I'm going to put some moisture in there. I probably need to get a, a humidifier for Ben because that'll help keep him healthy. One of the heating, heating up ones. But let's talk about what we got going on this next week. This next week, this week we've been in zone two. Zone two are kitchens. But guess what? Next week we're in our main bathroom and other rooms in the house. And I don't know what those other rooms that, um, that Rebecca has picked. I could probably find out right here. I'm gonna pull it up on my computer. Give me a second here. Zone. Zone one, zone five, let me go back. Sorry about this, y'all. Just bear with me while I go back and see what that other room is. We're in zone three. Zone three. Um, we're mainly dealing with the bathroom. But if you've got company coming, you need to deal with your extra bedroom. If you've got company coming and you have a basement and they're going to be staying in the basement, you need to deal with your basement. You know what you've got to do because we have 15 days. Today's the 14th. Today's the 14th. We have 10 days till Christmas Eve. So your guests will probably get there on the 23rd or something. So you got not, you got a week. You got a week. So let's let's get your guest room ready. Let's get your guest bathroom ready. Let's get our main bathroom ready. Let's get our powder room ready. You got to have those bathrooms clean and ready to go and stocked up with plenty of toilet paper. So start making a list of everything you need to do and you'll be ready for them when they get there. So don't get all bent out of shape thinking you don't have time because that's your perfectionism talking. You do have time, but you've got to start with it right now. So if you need to make a list, I, what I like to do is play a game with myself. I've got all these little, you can make a list of 12, one through 12. Just, just this is, bear with me here. This is a fun game. I got something in my eye. This is a fun game. So get you a notepad 
and we've all got notepads around and make a list of one to 12 and start writing down the things that you need to do to get the house ready for guests. You hear me? Just get the house ready for guests. It doesn't have to be a huge list, but 12 items is enough. And then you can start over if you need to. So just sit down with your cup of coffee right now and let's go over the things that need to be done. So do you need to detail clean your bathroom? Well, what do you need to do? You need to mop the bathroom? Let's get those, th let's get it on your list. And then put them on one and number them one to 12. That's all you're gonna put down is 12 items. And then you're gonna, in a little bowl, you're gonna take um, little pieces of paper and write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 on it and put them in the bowl, fold them up and pick one out. And when you pick it out, Go to your list and see what that is. I've written a book this way. The Chaos the chaos Cure book. That's how it was written. I put the, I had 10 topics and I put them in a bowl and I drag one out. And that's how I wrote the whole book. So let's drink up. Let's get some stuff done. Christmas cards, Christine's, Christine is mailing Christmas cards today. How cool is that? So what are the last minute things do you need to do? You can have a list for, you can have a list for getting the house ready and you also have a list for gifts and stuff that you need to do. You know, do you need to wrap some things? I got something in my eye. Are, are just Let's get it on, get it listed, and get it done. I really haven't done a whole lot for Christmas because I've been over here. I haven't even decorated. And Robert's been making cookies. He's in cookie making mode, y'all. Cookie making mode. That's what he told me last night. He said, and even with the rain, it's not a good time to make cookies. But I think he's going to go buy him a new cookie sheet. He doesn't like our little air cookie sheets. I have not talked to Ben this morning. I'm letting him rest. Uh, I came back here to the house last night about 10 o'clock and Robert said, honey, when are you gonna come to our house? So I gotta make some plans to get him get home because my sweet darling is missing me. Anyway, we can do this. We do it every year. I just want you a little more calm. So get up and get dressed to your lace up shoes. I actually have on house shoes this morning because my boots were wet last night. It was raining, so I'm letting them dry some more. I've been getting the machines going, washer, dryers going, dishwasher. I have unpacked boxes and let's get some stuff done. Parchment paper is good. I love parchment paper for baking cookies. And if you haven't looked at my cookie recipes on YouTube, go check them out. Go check them out because I have cookie tips and I have cookie, how to make cookies to do three or five different kinds at one time. And you just get the dough in the freezer and then you slice and bake as you need them. Gotta love <laughs> Leah saying our 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 uh, our machines are our indentured servants, which they are. They really are. The problem is I can't. No, it's it's a it's a pillowcase over the lamp. That's what I put over the lamp, so it wouldn't be a bright glare on the TV screen. They're under the fly lady. Somebody post a link to, oh, I broke a fingernail this morning. Yuck. I hate it when I break a fingernail, but I've been undoing boxes. But I got a, I got a nail clipper here somewhere. So let's drink up, let's get some stuff done. Now, keep in mind, the fly shop is closing next week on the 18th. You have to get stuff ordered. You hear me? Get stuff ordered. If you want, if there's something you're wanting from the fly shop, 
all these great deals we got going on purple rag silver rag bogo rubber scrubbers we got all the main stocking stuffers we have the complete cleaning package complete cleaning package is uh, $75 off get those stuff get that stuff ordered right now get it ordered and we'll get it shipped to you but if you wait until after the 18th you're gonna be in trouble because we're gonna be they're gonna be closed and we won't be filling any orders until New Year's and do you have your calendar where's your calendar get your calendars order or you're gonna be writing on the wall come January 1st so don't do that to yourself don't procrastinate we got the little calendar is $9.95 you can use coupon code clutter free to save 20% on the other one you don't have any excuses everybody loves our calendar because it has plenty of room plenty of room for rest for for your menus for everything one lady we got this great testimonial from a lady she uses she puts her new calendar up she gets it in August and then she puts her her gonna be out calendar by her desk so that she can write lots of details on it that don't show up on the big calendar that's just for her eyes that's why we like our little calendar for our purse too shopping for teenagers I don't know that if that's hard or not but you know they like creative ways to give them money think about it uh, one year I gave um, Ethan and Sarah a book on Andrew Jackson because they're practically from Tennessee you know they're both their parents are from Tennessee all their grandparents are from Tennessee so Andrew Jackson was a, a big deal for us growing up and Andrew Jackson's on the $20 bills <laughs> I gave them $20 bills with Andrew Jackson on them and a book about Andrew Jackson <laughs> that's a creative way to give money some people like to give little Christmas trees with the ornaments of dollar bills on it there's lots of fun ways that you can give money if you'll just think about it you can go on Pinterest and uh, and find some fun ways to give money there's lots of them you just have to play with it you just have to, and we want to have fun we want to play and we want to have fun so let's drink up folks let's get some stuff done let's do what we've got to do to not be stressed out I got um, about 10 hours of sleep last night I'm finding I'm needing more sleep the more stressed I am and it's working I'm listening to my body I pack up my stuff uh, Ben was laughing last night he got him to laugh you know he said she is an expert at packing up that suitcase I have a rolly bag that I take into the it's my computer bag it's it's my it's my rolling office and people say why are you taking that to the to the hospital all the time and I said because it has everything I need in it everything I need and it just makes it, it it I have what I need and I don't have to lug stuff I don't have to lug things so I can just roll everything in including my pocketbook because my pocketbook's pretty heavy y'all I, I think we went through my pocketbook yesterday it's more like a tote bag and it has a coffee bottle I think that's my water bottle and a water bottle one on each end and fits in and it's so full it's got my makeup it's got my hairbrush you know I got a I got a note from my hairdresser she's so sweet to me she said I've got my mom wants to take me on a cruise and your appointment is in January January the 8th can we change that to January the 6th and I said of course we can you that it's not gonna be on a Wednesday it's gonna be on a Monday which is usually her day off so I'm gonna be um, getting my hair cut on January I skipped December I skipped December well I really skipped November but 
I was able to do that. I've got it marked in my calendar already, and I'm ready to go. And she's going on a cruise. She got a better offer. That's, and we can do that. We can be flexible with our appointments if we just will. So drink up, folks. See how many machines you can get going today. Washer, dryer, dishwasher. I started to do the Roomba, but uh, it wouldn't, it, I unplugged it this week. I didn't want it running without me here. And I haven't been here much. So I'm getting things done. I'm gonna be working on my computer for an hour or so because I've got to get the sneak, uh, get some stuff ready to go for this evening. Hi from Newport, Newport, Tennessee. I came through there the other night when it was, I-40 was closed. <sighs> Rep, I, <laughs> that's funny. You wrapped a brick, that's cute, in gold paper and put money on each side of it. I love it. What a fun idea. Y'all are so creative. Well, y'all have a good day. Let's get some stuff done. Let's not be stressed out. I know it's family fun day, but you can spend a couple of hours take, getting some stuff marked off your list so you don't have to worry about it, okay? You can do that. Because anything you can get rid of this, this procrastinating is not going to weigh you down. It's going to free you up to be creative and have fun. So let's get some packages wrapped. Let's get some cards mailed. Let's do some things. I love you all. I will talk to you later. And don't forget about our sale. Get those calendars because you're going to be starting the new year without a calendar. If you have been procrastinating for five months. And I know who you are. There's about 2,000 of you that haven't bought calendars that usually buy them. So get them ordered. You've been procrastinating a little bit too much. Get it done. See you later. Bye.